So guys, okay, so the so we don't make this kind of video from a little while, but here we are back with another super interesting guide on how to install Half-Life VR on the Oculus Go directly and experience it in the only one device, like this one. Install it is super, super easy. So in this video, I'm gonna go through all the steps to have it running on the Oculus Go and to start to experience that. And we're gonna talk a little about it as well. So as always, let's switch to the computer right now and let's start with the guide. Okay, so here we are in a computer, a little different perspective. And first thing we have to do is actually to connect the Oculus Go to our PC via USB cable. And if you don't know how to sideload apps, because we're gonna have to sideload apps on uh, the Oculus Go, of course, I made a guide a while ago and it's still working perfectly. So you can check it out at the link uh, up there or in the description below with all the explanation how to do it. What you have to do here is very straightforward is that just to install the Quake VR APK because the Half-Life will like be a mod on Quake VR. And then of course, write over the files from a Half-Life VR to Quake VR to make it work directly and use Half-Life VR instead of Quake VR. Very, very easy. Now, how we do it, actually, we have to start, of course, downloading Quake. So here is the page. The link is going to be in the description below, of course. And we have to download just the Quake GVR 1.3.2 APK. Once it's downloaded, we have also to download the files for Half-Life VR and we click on download and we download that as well. Then there's gonna be the file that we have to transfer over in the Quake VR folder. First thing to do, of course, is to install Quake VR. How you do it? Well, you use as always ADB. So we go on the common prompt, ADB devices. So we recognize directly the Oculus Go. And then at that point, we go on the folder of ADB. So it's gonna be here. What I do is always copy as a text and I paste it here with Control V. So here we are. And then what you have to do is to install Quake VR. So I transferred that IPK directly here. I call it Quake APK. So what you do is just IDB install Quake.APK. You press enter and you install it. I put a little slash after so it's not installed back because it's already installed and I don't wanna mess up all the installation. But here we are super easy installed on the Oculus Go. Now, after it's installed, what you have to do is to go directly on the Oculus Go, start Quake VR. If you want to place Quake VR, well, you have Quake VR installed, so you can play that. Instead, if you wanna play Half-Life VR, we have to keep going a little more. So, what we did was actually before to download the files for Half-Life VR. So, what we have to do now is to extract them and open it directly. And we have to transfer the HL and ID folders. So these two doing Ctrl C, so copy, copy them directly in the folder of Quake VR. I really suggest to restart the Oculus Go at that point. So maybe you're gonna be able to see the folder because sometimes it doesn't appear directly. And if still doesn't appear after like starting the game and after restarting, the Oculus Go, well, I really suggest to use a file manager directly. I'm gonna put the APK in the description below as well, using Oculus TV, like we did in another video, and then open there the file to see directly the hidden files, because sometimes it could be hidden in there. So we go here, as you can see, there are the two folders already there. We do Ctrl V and we transfer everything. Very, very easy and straightforward. And last thing that we have to do is to go in the Half-Life folder and take this progs that file, Ctrl C, so copying it again and transfer it in the ID1 folder. So over here, Ctrl V is already there. We replace it again, no worry. And here we are with the Half-Life VR mode installed. At this point, I really suggest to restart again your Oculus Go because it never hurts. And then starting the game will be automatically. It will take a little while, some time, but you're gonna be able to finally get in the Mesa and be Gordon Freeman once again and go around and play your favorite game so far. So here we are, here we have it. This was the guide, super, super easy. And uh, yeah, pretty straightforward, right? 
Okay, here we are back. As you can see now, I'm gonna put some gameplay on. This is actually not me playing because I played everything. I was recording and then it didn't record. And I have to say that I got very, very sick playing. So this is the first thing that you have to be aware of. If you are like uh, prone to motion sickness, I'm not, but I got pretty sick. Just be aware that this can be a very intensive experience to do. Also because the Oculus Go sometimes like really struggle with the frame rate in this game. So it's not gonna be really perfect, but it's a great way to try and experience of life VR once more on this amazing little device. Now what you're gonna notice also is the menu is exactly the one from Quick VR because what we did at the end of the day was to kind of change like the textures and the game file from Quake to half life because they were running on a very similar engine, actually the same engines just updated because then the search engine arrived later with half life 2 and that's where half life became very, very big. And I also have to say that the graphics are gonna be very nice for an Oculus Go title, but are not gonna be as good as half life on the PC as you remember it, it's gonna be a little worse also there's some little artifacts going on because of course this is a mod adapted for Quake VR and not really Half-Life running directly. But I think that it's great opportunity that we have any way to check this out. So it's super recommended for that even if it's not super perfect. But so far I have to say that going back again in the Mesa with Gordon Freeman is just amazing and brings back a lot of memory. And let me know if you're gonna do it because it's very, very interesting. Actually, you can also play this game with the Oculus Rift or the Vive is very easy. There's a mod for it. I can leave it in the description below as well. But as always, guys, everything's gonna be in the description below. So you're gonna be able to check this game out by yourself if you want. Experience a little, have a, a little memories coming up again. Uh, let me know what you think about it. I really got sick, so uh, I'm not gonna use it again, but I think it's a great experience to try anyway. You really deserve it. Anyway, guys, as always, if you liked the video, like, if you didn't like the video, dislike, subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech, because here we talk about VR tech with a lot of stuff, a review about headsets and also easy guides like this one. Oh, and also from yesterday, they actually activated, they like joined the, the, the channel. So you can support the channel a little better over there. It's gonna be there below. It's like 4 dollars each month, but it's gonna be, it's gonna help a lot, big time, because it's very hard to keep going with the channel anyway. So any help will be super appreciated. I, I don't have any Patreon or stuff like that, so I keep everything on YouTube. And if you wanna support it, uh, if you're enjoying the channel, that will be uh, just amazing. Uh, there's also little emoji and stuff like that, and a private forum that we're gonna start, thanks to that, in the community part. Anyway, guys, uh, I already said everything. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Next week, probably I'm gonna drop the Pimax 5K Plus review, finally. Uh, we are finally there. You can see it over there with the, his uh, RGB, the blue RGB, that is super nice. And um, so far, that's all. So thanks again for watching. See you guys next video. Ciao.